Welcome to the Master Digital Product Designer course. I'm Rob Sutcliffe and I'll be instructing you on your journey to product design mastery. This course is very different to any UX design or product design course I've come across. I honestly felt compelled to create this course as so many thought leaders in this space are educating design drones to create uninspiring, useless designs. Giving oversimplified, shallow advice to explain an extremely complex discipline. Digital product design is still very immature and in adolescence. In many ways, it's the most abstract, most complex field of design yet, and people can't stop talking about how many times you click a mouse button, or how quickly people learn how to use an application things I can tell you up front are almost completely irrelevant. I want to give you a full design education that I don't believe is available elsewhere online. This isn't a course for people who want to throw together a design portfolio and get a UX design job by the end of the month. Designers are in massive demand. You don't need a course to tell you how to do that. This is a course for people who want to be challenged and are willing to challenge others to make a real difference in the organizations they work for and the organizations they work with, to make products that make a real difference in the world. For people who want to work hard for six months to not just get a job, but a job they love that will have a real impact. Or to learn to make an impact at their existing job. Design is now at the heart of so much more in an organization. I believe this course would be beneficial to anyone who is involved in the conception, development, and creation of digital products. Product owners, product managers, developers, solo entrepreneurs, everyone is in some way involved in design now. It can be a blessing and a curse. A designer no longer exists isolated in a basement. They're part of the business and the business is part of design. I've jam-packed this course with stories, trivia, history lessons from across all design genres, psychology, neuroscience, even politics and business. The majority of this course is aimed at how you think and how you understand people. But that doesn't mean we don't have loads of practical activities and worksheets to help you share your work with fellow students and colleagues. During our many hours together, we'll be looking at the product designers of history, what they taught us and what we've forgotten. We'll be looking at examples of design processes and you'll be creating your own. I'll tell you to ignore those flashy processes you hear from Google or Facebook. You'll be learning how to think more critically about the problems you're solving and the people you're solving them for. We'll learn about the massive opportunity that has been created by the experience economy and how this has created huge opportunities that most companies are ignoring, especially the ones who keep talking about user experience. We'll look at humans' incredible faulty perception of the world and their terrible memories and how you can design for that and ensure we're designing with that in mind. We'll look at some of the misconceptions about creativity, how you can develop it, how you can actively improve yours and how it can be fun. Let's look at how you can improve the usability of your applications or any other products you're designing and why every design consultant's usability audit I've ever seen hasn't been worth the paper it's printed on. We will of course be learning how to use the design tool Figma so you can create prototypes to show your customers, test and communicate with the development team. Lastly, we'll look at the most important topic of design, the height of experience, how good it looks. Don't believe me? You will. To hammer this home, we'll look at minimalism and how we so often get it wrong. And the final push to become a product design superstar, we'll look at balance and how too much of any of these things won't work. We'll need them all to live in harmony. I've studied design in one form or another for around 20 years. I have freelanced on hundreds of projects, worked in-house on multiple design products, consulted Fortune 500 companies, and a few times I've even managed the design team. I honestly think most professional product designers I've worked with overlook at least nine of these 12 subjects we'll be looking at in depth over the coming course. Sign up now, watch the first three sections, 
and you've already become a master digital product designer.